Welcome back to the channel, Stay Loaded Trucking, you guys. Today's a Wednesday. Why are my lips so red? Welcome back to the channel, Stay Loaded Trucking, you guys. Today's Wednesday morning, 7.30 a.m. And uh, we're gonna actually gonna pick up a load here in, uh, here in Oliver's, California. So it's only down the street from my yard. And we're gonna be delivering to Red Bluff, California. It's a, a quick little run, a local run. I woke up this morning around six and uh, didn't find a load until like seven. So it took me an hour on the load board to look for loads. But you know me, I was just uh, bidding high and they were saying, no, we can't do it for that much. Uh, I've been having problems with my MC number. I guess I need to get a DOT inspection, so. I missed out on some loads because of that. It's not that I wasn't even gonna get it in the first place. It's just, they ask for your MC sometimes first and then they're like, oh, we can't work with you. So I need to get a DOT inspection soon. I don't know how that works if they don't pull you inside the scales. Um, I guess I'm just gonna have to stop at the scales by myself and ask them for a DOT inspection. So, cause that's been messing me up with loads lately. So we'll do that or we won't do that, but we have to do that soon. But yeah, let's go pick up this load down the street and then we're going to head down to Red Bluff and then we'll come back and just call it a day. Super easy. Man, these are kind of good, but they have a lot of sugar in it and not a lot of caffeine. So good thing I'm only doing a local run. So I'll drink one of these, but <clears throat> we're getting this ugly steering wheel change soon. So look at that. No matter how much I clean it, it's just always dirty. <clears throat> but yeah, we got the new one in. Should be getting it changed later this week. Yeah, so I guess for this load, they're gonna be putting some tractors inside my dry van. But I guess you need six load locks. The broker didn't tell me that. So I guess they sell them here for $20 a piece. So I might need to grab two of them because I think I only have four, but we'll see. And then they want me to back into their driveway right now. So let's do that. try let's see why not one try but close to one let me go open my doors real quick because there's a wall on the left hand side man so uh, I was gonna buy the straps here but I only had three and they sell them here for $20 a piece so that was gonna be $60 I was willing to pay it the broker said that he would pay half and I'd pay half but then they hit me with, oh, we only take cash. So I only have $20 cash. So now I have to, I had to, I was already backed into the dock. I had to get away from the dock, come back on the street. Now I'm gonna have to drop my trailer, go to the gas station, pull out some cash. And yeah. And then come back, hook up, back into the dock. Yeah, just kind of annoying. Just a little annoying. Had to disconnect from her. So I gotta go see if I can pull out money or go find a store to buy some straps. Yeah, man, luckily they did have an ATM here at the Chevron down the street. It was only like half a mile away. But yeah, I mean, 
<laughs> oh my god. So, I tried withdrawing money, right? First time I tried, car declined. I don't know why. And then I tried my second car, it declines it too. And I'm like, oh my god, today's just a bad day. Or just a lot of little things are happening. It's not really too bad, just a lot of little things that are kind of annoying. But I thought it was gonna go, I thought the slow was just gonna go so smooth and, you know, quick and easy. But so far there's been little things that are getting in the way. Not too bad though, we, we've been through worse. So yeah, and then I tried again, it declined. And I tried it a third time. Well, the second time, it, or the third time it declined because I didn't have enough money in that account. So that's why I declined. So I ended up just transferring money over and I ended up pulling out the money that I needed to buy these damn straps. Luckily the broker, TQL, they paid for half. So I'm gonna end up keeping them anyway. So I was like, I'll pay for half if you guys pay for the other half because they're pretty expensive here, $20 a strap. I know you could probably get them for like, what, $10, $15 at like, at a truck stop or at a Harbor Freight or something. So yeah, man, we're heading back. We're gonna connect. Let's see what other obstacles are in the way for this, for us to deliver this load or even pick up. Gonna get loaded with these. And there. Taking it easy, going about 57 miles per hour. Trying to take it easy so we can save on fuel. Make some extra profit, I guess. Yeah, we'll probably be there in an hour, an hour and six minutes. Man, I'm feeling like a heavy hauler right now. I got tractors, I'm hauling tractors. Except they're small little tractors. I guess the total weight on this load is like 12,000 pounds. But you know what? I'm gonna call myself a heavy hauler today, or a tractor hauler, whatever. Because usually those heavy haulers they haul like farm equipment like that, right? Yeah. So uh, I've been having trouble getting paid on this load. Well, when you go through a factoring company, they usually pay you pretty fast. That's why you go through them. But they charge you obviously a fee. And uh, this load, they finally got back to me. My factoring company, they took back the money that they had originally given me because they said that that broker hasn't paid them so I had to do some investigation when you're an owner operator and you do all your loads you book all your loads you're, you're pretty much your own like what accountant whatever you want to call it office person I had to call the broker and ask him what was going on I guess that load was under another carrier for a tow new. But somehow I ended up picking it up and delivering and I finished it and everything. I don't know what's going on, something like that. So they sh I finally talked to them. They put me in an email with like the higher ups. So hopefully we can get it figured out and I can get paid. This load picked up in Colorado. Loveland, Colorado, and it delivered to uh, Santa Fe Springs. And this was like three months ago, and I still haven't got paid, so. Well, I did because of my factoring company, but then they took back the money, so pretty much I haven't got paid yet. So, yeah, we hopefully everything gets figured out. And, yeah. Holy moly. This road is small as hell. It should be right here though. There was also a sign, Dave's Tractors here in Red Bluff, so. I don't know if this is the right place. Oh, I see them now. They're up there, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Hopefully there's somewhere to turn around though. Oh, there we go, big parking lot. Big parking lot. We should be good. Let's uh, deliver these tractors and see what, where we need to go, what we need to do. Uh, this is where we are at. Dog's right there.
All right, you guys, we were getting 8.7 miles per gallon, not too bad. We just made it here to the yard. It's been raining a lot in California, but I think it's gonna stop for like a good week and then probably start raining again, but yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you guys on the next load. I don't know. It's probably going to be Monday. Today's Wednesday. So, yeah. We're going to have a couple days off unless I find something pretty good.